Hey guys, Super Gadget Guy here. Today I will be unboxing a solar power pack kit uh, from a company called Gold Zero. Um, this is a kit that I found at my local Costco. Um, it basically includes um, their Nomad 7 solar panel, Guy 10 Plus battery pack, and a Luna LED light. So here it is. I think it costs a little bit more when you buy it separately, but um, when you buy it all together, um, at Costco is $100 and includes AAA adapter, AA rechargeable batteries, AAA rechargeable batteries, and 12 volt car adapter. It is interesting that um, it's basically advertised as a sort of camping outdoor gear. Um, basically provides power to all your accessories, um, phones, tablets. So while you're outdoors, it's hard to find a power supply. You can still keep emergency equipment or accessories charged. In my case, I really don't spend that much time outdoors, but it is nice to have, let's say in the car when you go on road trips, and also as part of the emergency earthquake kit that in the event you have no power, at least you can keep cell phone charged, tablet charged, so forth. So let's see um, what's inside. Here it is. So right, right on top, you have a USB to a mini USB cord. Put it aside. And then here is the USB LED flashlight, sort of light, LED light, sort of reading light or night light. And here is the 12 volt vehicle adapter. This works really well with the um, Garmin GPS I have. Those have a secret light adapter. This way I can actually use my car GPS um, as a portable GPS and always keep powered. That's really cool. Has the Go Zero rechargeable uh, AAA battery. So this is the um, Guy 10 Plus kit, which is the AA battery and the battery charger pack. I'll show you how that works in a second. Here is the seven watt um, solar cell. That's in the, also in a very nice case. Uh, guy. User guy. So let's look what's in here. So this is the solar port. USB Guy 10 and 12 volt. Okay, this is interesting. So this is the actual solar cell. It's a two piece. Please remove film before use. Uh, okay. Okay. Oof, that's the hardest part. And they have the um, these sort of loops around. And you can see all around the edge of the solar panel these uh, rubber band-like loops, so that you can hook onto a backpack, uh, so that you can keep it charged. And they have internal wiring that's already done, so we're not in use. And then this is a zip pocket. Shows you have a USB port. Guy 10 and 12 volt. So let's connect them. So this is what they call a guide 10. So basically um, charges the AA. It works with AAA as well. Or AAA charger. It's really strong odor out of this package though. So let's use the AA because it has more amperage. I might even put it in my battery charger so that they're fully charged or use the Sanyo battery. Um, but 
low self discharge battery. I can see it's made in China, but it does not provide the amperage rating for these. So according to the tech spec, to charge from any USB power source 8 to 10 hours, charge from a Go Zero Nomad 7 takes 2 to 4 hours. Got it. So, oof. As you can see, this is the spacers for the AAA battery. But if you want to use a AA, you just remove the spacers. And now, you can use the AA battery. And the AA print on the actual Nomad 10 is actually easier to read. You can, you can easily tell which side is the positive, which side is the negative. Versus the marking on the spacer is actually hard to read. Input, solar, USB. So as you can see, there's a USB charging and solar charging. And then there's a flashlight. As you can see, see these mini power cords? These are the cords connect the Nomads. Oopsie. Input onto the Guy 10 connector. And this goes in. I wish it includes more USB cables, like uh, at least a micro USB and mini USB. So I want to see if it charges. Okay. So let's try it with this flashlight. There was this LED light thingy. Is there a switch on it? There's no switch on the LED light. I just plug straight into the solar panel. USB port. And this cable. More USB cable. Oopsie. So right now, um, with indoor lighting, it does not provide power, enough power to the um, to light the LED strip. And the reason they designed it like this is because the electronic devices require a more consistent power output. So you don't want to charge your cell phone off of the solar panel because the power is inconsistent. When you're in direct sunlight, you probably get 7 watt power. When you're indirect, you probably get weight less. That's not good. So what do you do? You want to use that power, the inconsistent power from the solar panel to charge the battery pack. And as the battery pack gets full, and you can switch to the discharge position, and that will provide a consistent charge to charge your cell phone or tablet, so forth. And my question is, hmm, can you live? Can you live this um, battery pack to be in a sort of discharge position while at the same time this is getting charged? to solar where you have to manually switch back and forth because I don't mind leave this thing on when there's nothing plugged in except for this light might be burning juice um, so I'll definitely give that a try because I don't know the manual didn't say that you have to switch this to the off position in order for the solar cell to charge but if it doesn't then I can leave it on all the time because I know there's nothing plugged in, and then when I do need to charge something, I just plug straight into this port right here. So, and I wish there is sort of Velcro back. Velcro on this, and Velcro on sort of this, and then there are actually more openings so that I can plug in devices and the uses actually to organize it because I, 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 I've seen it at Best Buy demo they have a very nice sort of Velcro setup to go with it but I guess with the actual kit they actually don't have it so definitely the 12 volt I'm gonna bring with me definitely this I'm gonna bring with me I might even use it with my computer because my computer does not have a backlit keyboard um, for my desktop so this is definitely a cool kit um, I don't know if it's worth $100, um, definitely it's not cheap to have a sort of portable power setup. But then again, you know, if you're in a situation where you want, you got to have power, um, this is 
one of the very few options you can do, you know, let alone the power generator that requires, you know, alternate fuel source. If you have a clear sky with some decent sunlight, this might be um, maybe a good option. I don't know how durable the panels are, but um, it's certainly a cool, nice, all-in-one kit for you to bring with you um, when you go out to the outdoors. And, um, and it's definitely a nice, it's pretty light, maybe a pound or so, a pound, pound and a half to add to the emergency uh, backpack. So there you have it. So this is the um, Gold Zero Nomad 7 with the with the Guy 10 Plus power pack and also the Luna LED light. And let me know if you have any questions, please post in the comment section and please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.